and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my tank is freaking gross. So there's a lot of things wrong with my tank. Um, specifically, my heater won't work, so I have to put a heating pad around it so it can stay warm. Not only that, the filter sucks. I mean, it's just, it's a horrible, horrible tank. Um, and I need an upgrade. So for Christmas, I asked for a new tank and I got it. And I'm going to be setting it up today. So for Christmas, I asked for this tank. Um, this is the Imagitarium Freshwater Cube Aquarium Kit. It's 5.2 gallons. Um, I've had a 10 gallon before and I didn't really like it because it was just like very long and it was kind of in an awkward space and I found that having my tank like right here on my desk was like the best place I wanted like a fish tank so um this is perfect because it's way bigger it's like twice as big as my tank now but it's like still kind of compact where it will still like fit on my desk I think I don't know I haven't taken it out of the box yet I wanted to I wanted you guys to be here for that so Let's open it. Okay. I've seen what it looks like. I mean, like, I've taken it out of the box, but, like, I haven't, like, put it on my desk or anything like that. So, here it is. It's in this thing right here. I can just... Oh, my. Oh, my God. This tank is so much better than the other one. Okay. Alright, so here it is. Um... 5.2 gallons, but it's still like such a good size. Okay, let me get a close up. All right, so here's the tank right here. It is so, like, I don't think you can, do you see the difference? Like this is twice as big, but it, but like space wise, it doesn't even take up that much more space. I love it, okay. But you open it up here and there is the light and it comes in white and blue and I'll show you that later. Um, here is the filter, so it's right down here, and then it comes up. So here's like the bio, bio filter, whatever, and then below it, it has the actual cartridge. So, yeah, the only down part is like, I can't move this. Not only did I get this for Christmas, but I also got a $40 Petco gift card, so I bought a couple things, and I'll show you them now whole time this is a pet smart bag because it also got stuff at pet smart so at petco i got um the filter cartridge they have two of them um just in case like i'm gonna need to change it eventually but i read online that like they're almost like never in stock because this is such like a weird tank like it's a magitarium like not a lot of people buy from that brand i don't think i also bought another silk plant because i'm kind of going with like a kind of a different theme i wanted just like very neutral colors like no like crazy colors at all so um i wanted a new plant i was thinking about getting like real plants this time but maybe that'll be in a different video and this was definitely needed um originally i bought um like a preset Aquion uh, heater it was like set to 70 degrees but I have a baby beta which they need to be in like hotter water so I decided to invest in actually like a good heater that will last me a long time because my heaters don't last me a long time so hopefully um this one will be good and then at PetSmart I got some decorations um I got these two I think they're both from Top Fin yeah they are um, so this one's like a little Asian, like, hut thing. I don't, I'm Asian. I feel like I should know what this is, but I don't. It's like a temple. And then I got, like, um, a little rock cave just for, you know, my beta to swim through. I feel like these things are very, like, tiny. Like, I don't have a lot of, like, tall decorations, but, I mean, whatever. And I got more moss balls just because I saw these and they're like mini tiny ones and I thought they were so cute. I already have a big one in the tank that I have right now, but I decided because it's a bigger tank, maybe I should have more. Okay. I have this huge pot <laughs> of black gravel that I had in the past, um, but I cleaned it with a white vinegar solution and it's just in this pot waiting to be put in this tank and I'm very excited I'm very very excited I'm gonna take away the heating pad guys 
This is so scary. I'm so scared right now. Oh my God. The tank was successfully moved onto my dresser. So here is her new home. Bye bye heating pad. Okay. Just so you guys have like a better view of like what I'm actually doing. Um, okay. This tank was, I believe, like about $70. I'm sure it was on sale when my mom bought it. Um, but like the regular retail price is just $70. It's kind of expensive. I knew it was going to be expensive, but I wanted to invest in a really good tank. Um, not a lot of people have this tank from what I've seen. I've researched it on YouTube and like only like one or two videos popped up that had this tank. So we'll see how it works, guys. I don't know. On the packaging, it said that this was glass. I literally thought it was plastic. Like, like that sounds like plastic. Maybe there it's acrylic, but I feel like they would market it as acrylic if it was that. Okay, that one is satisfying. So I guess we can start setting it up now. I'm gonna start putting in the gravel. Actually, I'm just gonna rinse off all of the decorations I'm gonna use. So look at the silk plant. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you think it's gonna float underwater? <laughs> I kinda hope it does, cause that's like really sad right there. I'm gonna use that plant. And I'm gonna use this plant. Very natural colors. Next, we are going to add my black gravel in this pot. So, we'll see. I guess I could like grab a cup and not just use my hand, but oh well. I went with black gravel this time because for like years I've been using the same gravel and I've had black gravel like from the past and I decided that with this like tank that I'm going to be doing, I wanted it to be like super natural looking and very minimalistic as well. So I thought that black gravel might be the best way to go. Alright guys, so my camera died, but in the meantime, I put in all the decorations, but look at this. I put in aquarium salt, and you can literally see it dissolving. Isn't that so cool? Anyway, so here's the tank. This is the setup that I chose. I know I bought like an Asian temple, but I ended up not using it because the tank looked way too crowded. Um, so I just settled on one of the decorations and two large plants. I also, um, I put in the heater, let me see if I can focus on it, I put in the heater right there if you can see it, um, it's like tucked away in the back right by behind the plant just so like it's not really seen. I haven't turned it on yet because um, it just needs to sit and like get used to the water temperature and I need to see like what the room temperature water is anyway. Um, but I went ahead and as you know medicated it so I put in um, the stress coat with that also like dechlorinizes, dechlorin, I don't know, you know what I mean. Um, basically like the dechlorinator and the water conditioner. And then um, I also put in the aquarium salt and then I'm going to be t putting in um, the bacteria supplement after like all this kind of like dissolves and stuff like that. This is what the filter looks like. It's literally silent. Like, do you hear anything? Because I don't apparently. Like, it's so good. Um, I knew that I was going to be getting this filter, so I went ahead and put one of these Fruval, um, or Fluval pre-filter sponges that I talked about previously in my videos. Um, I had one left over and I put it in Stella's tank for like a week or so just so like some of the good bacteria could um, get on it and so I put it on to the filter. So hopefully that kind of like also puts some of the good bacteria and I don't know if that's actually going to help anything but um, you know worth a shot. So yes this is actually going to conclude my setting up my beta fish tank video. 
Um, I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed it because I love setting up new tanks. Um, I'm just gonna let this cycle. I also forgot to mention that I put those three Marimo Moss balls in the little corner right here. Um, and then I'm gonna move the big one from the old tank in the here eventually. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave it a like. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next.